Hello everyone. I'm going to try to speak up. I've been, you know, I got a comment um and a, a couple of them that like, you may not be able to hear me all the way. I, I think part of it has to do with the microphone on my actual phone is a little bit um finicky. But today I wanted to just do this video to end my um season three for laundry detergent reviews. And somebody asked me what is my favorite laundry detergent. So I thought I should bring out all of them that I have and this isn't all of them because some of these I have replicas of them. Um, so, but these is all of the different variations. So each one is different that I have. Um, I have my pods here. We have our powders here. We have our liquids just in the mix. So I'm gonna go through them all um, just so you don't have to go too far in the video. If you ask which one is my end all be all favorite, is this one. Personal Pro Clean, the Deep Clean. Hands down is the very best at handling cleaning your clothes. And like I said in the last video, when it comes to cleaning your clothes, I look at it in three folds. Number one, it has to be able to eliminate odor, not just mask, but completely eliminate the odor from your clothes. Number two, it's supposed to get rid of things such as um, body odor, body oils, debris, dust, pet dander, pollen, other pollutants that you may be introduced to when you go outside of your house. All of those of that nature is supposed to be able to remove all of that. And then the fourth, the third thing that is supposed to be able to do is to remove light to medium stains. I don't expect any of these and none of these have been able to, not a single one has been able to completely remove very heavy stains such as mustard, um, sriracha hot chili sauce, grape juice sauce. Well, no, some of these have been able to remove grape juice stains. Um, what's the other one I'm trying to think of? Uh, it's not coming to my mind. Like Georgia Red Clay. Some of them actually were okay at Georgia Red Clay. But it, the main ones are the three, the yellow mustard, the sriracha sauce. And then um, grape juice stains is hard for some of these. Um, so I'm just going to go through them all and give you my opinion on each one. Like I said, this is my top rated number one. I'm going to give you my top one, two, three. But this is number one just for those who want to go ahead. So starting in this corner, we have... <sighs> This is um, Publix brand, Publix brand um, free and clear laundry detergent. I'm going to put it down. It, um, I recently got this and I do like it. I think it's a very good bargain. I believe I paid $8 for this and it really gets the job done. I, I really give this like a B tier. I'm going to rank them eight. Um, this is S tier. This S or this at the top, you know how they have the ranking. Um, I should do a thing one day where I put a chart around it, where I put the tiers and where they land. But this is a very good B tier laundry detergent. And it's not that expensive. I believe it was like $8 um, when I purchased it. This is Tandle. This is the Aldi grocery store. And I apologize for anybody if some of these, I know different people are from different countries that see my videos and that are subscribed. So some of the detergents, if not a lot of them, may not be available in your country. And I apologize for that. I'm um, trying to work on um, ordering some laundry detergents from other countries to review those. But right now, I really don't have a lot of space for it. But we will have those in the future. But this is Tandle. It is supposed to be um, comparable to this right here, Ty's Original. Um, I did a video, and I was going to have it posted today. But for some reason, the last file that showed the results was corrupted, and it wasn't letting me post it. Um, but I could just give you the results. This is not a one-to-one. -one. Tide Original is better than this. Um, it's definitely not a one-to-one. -one. And quite frankly, if I was going to go between this one and this one, I would purchase this one personally than this one. I would rather... Well, if you don't have a, um, a Publix nearby, then I guess you can't get this. But if you have a Publix nearby and you have this nearby, they were, I think, the exact same price. If this... This may have been $7.99. This may have been $8.99. So maybe a little bit cheaper. It's been a minute since I purchased it, so I can't really remember. Next is just the original Arm and Hammer. I will say this. Some people ask me my, my opinion on Arm and Hammer. I do like them. I think they're a very good B-tier laundry detergent. And this is how the tiers are really set up. There's an article I'm going to try if I remember to link below. And it talks about um, high, medium, and low level laundry detergents. And what makes them a high, medium, low is just how many enzymes, the concentration of enzymes and surfactants in the laundry detergent that actually help it be able to remove all of those things and clean your, all different types of stains and clean your clothes. So it is a B tier on their rating. I think if I can recall, their low tier was like extra laundry detergent, sun, 
And maybe there was one other one. Then their mid tier was all Arm and Hammer, Gain, and Purex. And then their A tier or their high level one was Tide and Persil. This is my favorite. There's a um, detergent. I haven't tried it, so I can't go against it, which is the OxyClean's Dark Rejuvenate or Dark Revive or Dark something. And then there's this one. I really like this one. And I can honestly tell you, this really does make a difference if you have dark clothes. I wash it on if new dark clothes. If I buy a new shirt or new pants that's dark, I will use this to wash it and only wash it on the cold setting. And it really makes a difference. People ask me my opinion of Game. Game is one of the best smelling. And y'all know I don't really care that much for my clothes to smell some type of way, but I really just like them to have clean, which is why I really prefer a lot of free and clear ones. But this one smells really, really good. And the only thing that smells better than this one is, th no, not that one, is this one, which just has this odor defense. It smells so good to me. Now, this one is, I was gonna do a video where I compare this and um, the two others that I'll get to when I get down there. This is a, a laundry detergent plus fabric softener detergent so you don't have to add your own fabric software it's already infused in here this smells really good oh game just smells good they they know what they did when they were making their detergent so many people i understand why y'all like game this smells really really good and i think once again i don't think that it is a bad b tier detergent i think it does a solid job at removing stains it's not the best um but it's definitely not the worst these, y'all know I don't like this tie Simply line. I really don't. From this, this, even to the pod variation, I don't like them at all. They do not do a very good job at cleaning clothes. I would recommend going to Gain. I'd recommend going to Arm & Hammer. I would recommend going to all of these. Everyone that I've listed before, before you get to this line. I know some people like that and it works for them, but my results, it's not it. This method, I don't have an opinion on yet because as y'all can see, it's completely full. I have not used it yet. I just recently bought it because somebody asked me to do a review and y'all know it takes me some time uh, to get, I, it really does. It takes me some time to really get down to the reviews because y'all see how many of these I have. So it takes a while. This personally, I really like this and it almost is going to replace like when you come to the more eco-friendly laundry detergents, um, y'all know my favorite was Ecos. This is really right there because I really like its cleaning ability. To me, one of the ingredients, like it highlights that ingredient on the back. Let me see if it's going to show. Is vinegar. You can smell the vinegar in the laundry detergent. You do not smell it after it has been washed. But I do really like this detergent. Um, it has a lavender scent, but it's very faint. It's not that strong. I really do like this. And there's this one as well. And it has a, you know, a lavender scent. And I'm not the biggest fan of this. To me, it does not do a very good job. It says powerful stain removal. No, it is not. It is not the best laundry detergent. This is a detergent that I would put in the category for if your clothes do not get really dirty. Um, it's a little bit pricey. And I've only seen it available on Amazon, which is where I purchased it. I, I can't recommend this because this only costs eight dollars at Walmart at my local Walmart and this let me see this is 65 fluid ounces how much is this 54 fluid ounces you get more in here I would recommend this way over this this is really not a detergent I like that well and I will definitely not be repurchasing this one this one I could repurchase okay we'll talk to the pods Somebody asked me, which um, detergent do I use more regularly? Honestly, I've been using this, and I'm going to tell you why. They are not that good at cleaning clothes, but a lot of my clothes really don't get that soiled, and they're not that dirty, and there's not really that many stains. Most of the stains that y'all see are really just for test purposes, and people ask me about what, it, what is my opinion. If your clothes don't get that dirty, you don't need the heavy cleaning power of a lot of these detergents. But the reason I don't recommend certain detergents for you, like I think somebody asked me about this, and I was like... I, I would not repurchase this personally. I'm just, I use this more regularly because there's 56 in, the, 56 in the pack. And so I'm just trying to run through it and just finish it all. So more frequently, I've been using this one, um, but my clothes really don't get that dirty like that. Um, except for my work clothes. And then I don't use this on my work clothes, but um, this one is kind of okay. This one, Arm & Hammer, mm, it's not as good as the liquid. I'm going to be honest. It's not as good as the liquid. Um, Before I did this channel, I never really was a, the biggest fan of pods. Um, I just, I just wasn't. I feel like 
they don't do the best when it comes to their cleaning power compared to liquid. And I do like with liquid, you're able to dosage your own um, amount. There is this thing going around. There are many different views. Consumer Reports even subscribes to this, that you should only need two, at most, two tablespoons of laundry detergent to clean your clothes. That is a bold face lie. I'm going to tell y'all that video I cannot wait to do. And y'all see, I'm going to try to make sure I get that out in July when I come back. It is a bold face lie. Two tablespoons to clean your clothes only works if you have a small load, in my opinion. And possibly, depending on if your laundry detergent is concentrated or not, and then your clothes really just is not dirty. Um, because a lot of times that is not enough to clean your clothes. It really is not. Um, depends. Like I said, this, like, for example, this has a very small cap. I, I haven't measured out to see exactly how much it is when you use this to see how much it is. But they, hypothetically, you know, they make theirs more concentrated so that you don't use as much. But that's what they say and they claim. I haven't used this yet, so I can't really give y'all a good um, review on that. Y'all know I really didn't like this. This is garbage. The whole tie is simply not is garbage. I don't like it at all. Um, and I don't like it because you could literally... Let me... I ain't got over there yet, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. You could literally go purchase LA's Totally Awesome Laundry Detergent at the dollar store or Family Dollar or Dollar Tree and pay a lot less than you will for this Simply line. And it will give you better results from my experience. I don't like this Thai Simply line at all. Okay, let me move on. This, um, this is something that you will find at your dollar store. I think they're okay. I think that for a dollar... It's okay, and it can get you by. I don't think they're not that... I would put this as a C tier. I know I haven't rated all of these. I should have been doing it. But this is a C tier. It's okay, but it's not the best. And the thing about it is you do ha definitely have to use at least two pods. Um, I would not recommend using one. It says use uh, one fresh and clean for regular or light soil. No, you just need to use two. And if it's heavy, you need to use three. Um, it's a similar story with this. Um, these are what I find also at the dollar store. Same thing. It's the same story. You use two if it's a regular or medium load. And I know what the instructions say. And then you use three if it's a larger one. I'm telling you, it really will make the difference um, at cleaning your clothes. Because these aren't... They're not going to attack medium stains that hard. None of them are going to attack heavy stains, we know. But when it comes to the medium stains, these don't want to attack it that bad. Um, and, and and even in... Y'all saw the video that I did last time where I say you pre-soak or versus pre-treat. And it's always better to pre-soak. When you're using like the liquid or the powder and you pre-soak, you still need to, when you wash the clothes, use the appropriate amount. So... Like, let's say you were going to pre-soak it in something like OxyClean or whatever, and then you use these. You still need to use the two or three, depending on how low, large or low it is. Um, I like these. I do. We have the regular ones here that don't contain the Oxy. To be completely honest, there is not that much of a difference, if any, um, in the cleaning power between the Oxy and the regular ones. I was going to do a video comparing the two, but it, I've used them back and forth. There's really not that big of a difference. And to be completely honest, what I'm really seeing is a lot of liquid laundry detergents, their oxy version versus their regular version between liquids and pods is not really that big of a difference. Tide pods. I do like Tide pods. I think they do a pretty okay job. I understand why they have the hype um, that they do amongst the laundry community, if I could say. They do a good job at cleaning your clothes. But something that does a completely equal job is this. It's called True Living. Um, there's a channel, if I can remember it, I'm going to post, post below. They did a video where they compared the True Living versus the um, Thai versus a whole a couple of other ones. I think they had six laundry detergents all together. And this scored higher on certain stains than others for them than that one. Now, I like these. Laura Lynn, this Laura Lynn is the generic brand for the grocery store Ingles. And these are do pretty good. To me, these do a better job than this one. And this one, which is just a dollar store one, they do a better job at the three aspects of cleaning. They do a better job, in my opinion. To me, the biggest underdog was this. I did not expect this to do as good of a job as it did. Now, granted, you have to use more. You have to use like two or three at least to get the job done. And there's only eight in the pack. But these, this costs a dollar. So if you do the math and it works out for you, I think this is so great if you're on vacation. Like, 
Pods, in my opinion, are great for vacations. I know people like to use them and you use them as you do. But these is what I would, would bring with me on vacation if I had to bring laundry detergent. I would definitely bring one of these. I forgot I left my laundry sheets upstairs. Um, I think I only have one of them left. But y'all ask my opinion on laundry sheets. To me, te the technology has not come around that makes laundry sheets worth buying yet. Like they, they're not good at, n n no, no. I, I don't like, because there are some, some people ask me to do a review. I did one review of a laundry sheet. There was another laundry sheet that I was going to do. I don't know if I posted it or not. Um, but long story short, all I see from them is that they're not good at removing stains. And so what's the point of buying them then? I understand you're trying to be more eco-friendly, but if it's not cleaning your clothes and you have to do multiple cycles to get it done, I'm not for laundry sheets yet. I really hope Tide, I want Tide or Persil or one of these other major brands to come out with a laundry sheet because um, this is a lot of plastic, as y'all can see. Um, even in the containers, in the, in the pods packaging, it's all a whole bunch of plastic that, you know, is not good for the environment. But we know the king is Persil of disc, uh, disc and laundry pods. They call them disc, you know, the different ones, laundry pods. These are the king. Um, you want to ask my opinion on overall, if I was to recommend laundry pods to somebody, I would recommend out of these three, this would be number one. These are the most expensive, but if you need the cleaning power, number one, this is the one to go. Um, number two would be, uh, probably these two are neck and neck. These are normally cheaper than pods, than Tide, but they, that's just going to be down there real quick. They're good. They do the exact same job. Actually, I need to pull that one out. Hold up. Y'all... If you see these, I think they're worth it because these are like either neck and neck or just right behind these um, Tide Pods slash the True Living. They're both equal. Um, right after that, I would do all. Then I would do the Laura Lynn. Then I would do Arm and Hammer. Then I would do Purex. Then I would do this one and this one. And then I would do this. Yes, I put these in last place. I don't, I don't know. I really don't understand how people get good results from this detergent. You know, if it works for you, it works for you. But like, no, I don't like the Simply Line at all. This is going to be a long video and I'm really sorry, but this is the last video of the season. So y'all will be okay. Um, We're going to start from the back. Tide Original is a tried and true. Like I, I can't, it, but I will say this. Um... This is my theory, and y'all bear with me if you agree with this theory or not. This is my theory. I feel like, because some people have put in my comment section below that Tide isn't what Tide used to be. I agree with that. And the reason I think it's not what it used to be is, this is just my theory, allegedly. Um, you know, you know, you got to throw those disclaimers out there. I feel like Tide decreased the surfactants and decreased the concentration of enzymes in their original laundry detergent so that they could create a line like 10 time hygienic clean and the uh, ultra deep clean or whatever just so they can make those lines i feel like they changed this one because before those lines exist this was a really really good laundry detergent but as you saw in the video where we compared it against this yellow one these two did an equal job this cost a dollar at your grocery at like family dollar and dollar general if you see it there or if you go to the dollar tree then it's a dollar 25 but basically this is a dollar this is 12.99 and they clean the exact same that's ridiculous and it shouldn't be that way um this i was gonna do a video this is what i was talking about this is the tide um plus downing which is their um laundry detergent plus fabric softener now the thing about this is when i was looking into this apparently they had uh, reformulated this a few years ago and some people do not like this reformulation that they've done i'm gonna say within the last three years they've reformulated this detergent and some people really don't like it but i do i think it's a, a pretty pleasant smell it's not as pleasant as the um game two in one this smells really, really good. But I was going to do a video comparing this one, this one, and then this is the LA, the purple bottle is the, excuse me, the purple bottle is the LA Totally Awesome with, um, what's it called? With um, fabric softener. I was going to compare all three of them to see which one does a better job at softening fabrics. Maybe I will do that video again uh, one day, um, but I really like this. If I only had one option to purchase one of the ties, I would purchase this one because some people don't like the fabric softener, and I'm not really for fabric softener myself. I don't think it's necessary, but if you want something that's better for your the life of your washing machine, I think you should get a detergent that's already infused with a fabric softener, because number one, it's not, it's going to meet in the middle. Like, it's going to be softer than just detergent alone, but not as soft as adding um, fabric softener to your detergent, um, or to your fabric softener bin. Um, 
So, but I think it's a very good option. This is nice. I like the smell of it. To be completely honest, I can't tell a big difference between using this and using Tide Original. When it comes to its cleaning ability, I can't tell. I haven't done the video where I go like do a stain patch test comparing them, but just in everyday regular use, I haven't been able to tell a difference. So that's that. I already did the King. This is the King, the best cleaner out of all of them. Best and remover. A very good close second. A bit, you know what? I the, This is the biggest test I need to do. I need to compare it against this because this powder detergent is so good and it removes stains i did a video on the other ario so good just so good this i've been using more recently this was underwhelming i was hoping it was going to be as good as you know people really love on tiktok and other social media sites and i'm sorry this is sideways but people really love this as like the paste that they have with the pink stuff company this was very underwhelming i would not purchase this again now, all of this is just the LA's Totally Awesome line of detergents. To be completely honest, the blue one, the green one, the orange one, and the yellow one, and the purple one, the best one, hands down, is the yellow one. I'm going to get a little closer. This clean better than them all, in my personal opinion. Some people really like this one because it's plus the oxygen. That don't mean nothing, really. Um, I'm so mad because... There's two red bottles. There's a red bottle that is the original scent for them. And then there's a red bottle that was a heavy duty scent. Now, maybe I can't remember. It's three years ago. I did a video where I compared like a whole bunch of just cheap back when all of them were just a dollar detergents. I had Ajax in it. I had they had this company has a wool wash. I had that in it. I had a whole bunch of other ones in it. And that video was kind of. I really was mad because I really wish I would have kept those two detergents because I didn't end up using all of it. I think I just, you know, threw it away. Um, I should have kept it because I really wish I would have compared it because I really would have liked to see how the heavy duty LA Totally Awesome did against some of the other ones. But so far, if I'm purchasing it and I'm so happy because it's very hard in my area that I find the yellow one. I'm glad I made I got a second bottle of this one at this size because this is the 32 um, low size. I don't like that they make these at the, what does it say? The 21 load size. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Now, so that's just all of these. These all do okay. I think they're very good in a pinch. I think they're okay at um, removing stains. To me, they are all a low B tier except for this one. No, I can't even get this. They're a high C tier, low B tier, depending on which one you get. This is kind of like a low B tier, like a B minus 80 flat. This is kind of like like a 76 this one i would give like a 78 this one i would give an 85 easy um and this one is okay as well this is like an 80 so i would line it up like that um actually no i may downgrade this a little bit i do like this one though because i think for it to have the fabric softener included it does do an okay job at softening your clothes okay we have well i'll go to that in there this is my second least favorite. No, this is no, this is my second least favorite laundry detergent of all time. They charge you $13.88 for this last time I checked. For $13.88, this is garbage. Every detergent that's right here clean better than this one. Except for the tie, simply simply just so bad. Anyway, this detergent cleans better than it. This one does, this one does, this one does, this one, I don't know. They kind of neck and neck. This is just not really a good detergent. Um, and that was kind of almost comparable in price. This, I really want, I need to test this because this costs $15 at my local Kroger. And that's kind of on the highest side of all of these liquid laundry detergents that I've had. It's not, I don't know. I hope this is worth it. I hope it does an okay job at removing stains. Because other than that, I know some people like Method because um, it's more equal friendly. I still really like the other one. Now this is garbage. This is garbage, especially this is the ultra one. I'm not talking about the regular purple one. The regular purple one isn't that great either, but this one is straight garbage. I did the video on that. I would not, I will not be repurchasing the extra ultra, the ultra variation of this. Nope. This is misleading. I don't like this because something, this isn't like one of the other ones that they have where you open the bottle. Hold up. You open the bottle. And it says one squirt is one dose, but it's not like it's controlled. Like 
it's controlled by me how much the squirt is. I don't like this. And it's not, it's, it goes in the category. If your clothes is really not that dirty, you could use it. If you're looking for an eco-friendly one, I would skip seventh generation's one. And I would purchase this one. The ninth element. I really would purchase it over it. Um, this is a detergent, but it's also, I put this in the category for my, um, I did a video on how to eliminate odors out of your clothes. Um, if you were washing clothes and your regular detergent is not getting the job done, this is a detergent itself, which is why I included it, but I like to use it as a laundry booster so that it is able to remove stains, not stains, remove odor very well. This is very, very, very good at removing odor. And y'all know I've said it multiple times that I have a warehouse job, which is why, you know, the outside of this with the little uniforms and stuff like that was very the marketing for it they did a good job and i tested it and it actually is a decent product and i like this this was only six dollars i think this is a very good purchase um i think once again the best way to use this is to use half a cap full so full cap full and a gallon of water like whatever article of clothes sit in it for at least like three or four hours if it's really smelly let it sit overnight and then wash your clothes again and when you wash it use half a cap full or a full cap full in the wash cycle um the number one laundry detergent that I was the most disappointed with is this one. I thought, this is heavy, so I'm going to just put it right here. I thought this was going to do a much better job than what it did, and it didn't. I was very much disappointed in this, because we know we love, I like, I can't say we, because y'all have y'all different opinions. I like OxyClean powder. I think the, the OxyClean laundry powder is really, really good. It, it fights the stains. We all know they are good. I like it. The detergent, I will not be repurchasing. It was disappointing to me. Um, Y'all know, still the king for me, even though I, not, I like Ninth Elements. I like this. This works for me. Now, I saw somebody in the comment section said that it didn't work for them. Like, they have it like very heavy odors from, like, children, cloth diapers, and, like, other things. And it didn't work for them. And, you know, not all of these will work for you. You may have different opinions towards some of these detergents. And that's good for you. But as for me, I really do like this. And... This is my, I'll do a lineup at the very end of this telling you how I feel about different ones. But when it comes to detergents that like, when this is all said and done, y'all, and I'm not doing these videos anymore, and I'm picking what detergent I'm going to be using for me and whatever future family I have, I'm definitely picking this up. I like this. I like that it's not too terribly expensive. I think this was maybe 1088, 11 something after change. It's a little bit cheaper than Tide original and it's good like i really like this it worked for me and it was able to fight some stains pretty decently like i gave this b tier because it, it did okay for me um uh, now this one i got it as you can see for 3.99 it was on sale uh this says cold water i'm telling y'all right now none of these brands that say cold water do the best in cold water um I've been doing I and I'm gonna and I'm gonna eat my words. I said in the past, like on one of the other videos, um, that the temperature really didn't make that much of a difference on that specific patch test that I did for that one. It didn't. But as I've been washing more cycles, the warmer wash cycle definitely does a better job than a cold wash cycle, um, or even a cool wash cycle. Cause even like I've been um showing y'all the temperature to some of these more re more frequently. Um, it makes the difference. It genuinely does make the difference. Now I think this is okay if your clothes really don't get that dirty that much. I think this can do the okay trick for you. But once again, if you have heavy soil stains, I would recommend going with Persil. If Persil is too expensive, then the second runner-up, if you can find the LA Totally Awesome in the yellow bottle, I would say get the one in the yellow bottle. Um, a third runner-up would definitely have to be... Mm, Probably just tie it. Just get tied. Tied will work. It'll get the job done. Um, I haven't tested the Tide Ultra Deep Clean thing. Apparently, it's supposed to be better than the uh, original Tide. So, I don't have the personal experience of using that one, so I can't tell you. Oh, but I will tell you this. Second, uh, take back what I said. This is number two. This is my second favorite. The Tide Free and Gentle. I really, really like this because it's fragrance-free. Um, it don't have no dyes. And it does a very, very good job at cleaning the clothes. And in my opinion, it does a slightly better job than the regular Tide. I forgot this is up here because we don't, you know, I have a lot of these. So I don't really use this like this. And I kind of try to leave this from like 
the family stuff like that so they can use it anyway um this really good really like it second place for sure uh so i would give once again this is first place that tied not you but this one the tie free and gentle or is um second place this is third place for me this is fourth place for me so that's my fourth place lineup i will use this more frequently because it only costs a dollar um now you know what this is such a hard test i want to let me i hate to backtrack but i'm gonna say those are my favorite liquids okay let's do it like that because this is a very hard thing i don't really like pause like that so none of these i would really put in the lineup the only one the only one of these that i would really repurchase is i don't even know y'all like i would probably purchase the true living because it does as good of a job as tide but it's cheaper um these do a really good job but they're expensive i'd rather just get the liquid if, than have to get the pod okay so let's go on to the powders this is the powder version you know this is the pod version same company same product i think this is okay in a pinch um this tide powder i've been using this a little bit i've washed four loads with it I like this powder a lot. I like the powder better than the liquid. I think it does a better job cleaning than the liquid. I think if all of these had to get erased, right? And they said, you can only keep three. I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping this one. And I'm gonna keep this one because it's a dollar. Okay, this is truly, it does have good cleaning power, but the price is really what makes the difference. I like the free and clear option Ugh, i guess i can't do that because i have to keep one free and clear option we'll get on to that i'm distracting myself so let's get move on to the next one we have foca uh no i'm gonna just say no i don't like it i don't like its cleaning power i don't think it's that great y'all saw the video that i just did with it no it's a no for me i'm gonna talk to roma and I have the container right here because that's what it's in. Uh, no. Even worse than Foca. Ariel. Ariel used to be my favorite um, powder detergent. And then I just tried this Tide. And I have to do a video comparing them to really see the cleaning power difference. But what I really like about it is some of these, some detergents, when you wash your clothes and then you fold them, put them up. And then you would let a month go by or you left two months to go by and then you smell the clothes again and then they smell not as fresh. These have a very good job at keeping your clothes smelling fresh for a longer period of time. I really like this. Um, this specific one has plus downy. So out of the fragrance category, which you know, fragrance is very subjective. This is my favorite. This one... We're going to talk about it at the end. We're going to talk about it at the end. Now, this is one you may not know. This one I found at Dollar General. And when I found it, I put it into this container. I, I bought like five of these and put them all in here because it was only a dollar. And I was hoping that it did a good job. Um, In my opinion, the this one does a better job than this one. This one does not do as good of a job as this. If you find this, I don't think it's a terrible buy. The thing about it is... Both of these two do not have an HE symbol on them. So you have to use less when you're using it with an HE washer or use it with caution, I will say. Um, would I purchase these again? If I was in a pinch, I would. Like if I had nothing else uh, available, I would not feel uncomfortable about purchasing this. I would just know if my clothes was stained, pre-soak. Pre-soak, let it sit in it for at least six hours. Pre-soak is your best friend to help you assist these detergents because they're not the strongest. Now, this Tide powder is so good. Like, I, I don't, it's it's so, I understand. Like, if, if this is what, like, you know, older generations, y'all really talk about how Tide was the thing. And I know Tide was the thing for so many families. I understand it. Grant said, I've used game powder. I don't have that with me right now. I have a video of it though. This is better, far better with purchase it. It is more expensive, but it, to me it's worth it being more expensive. You can find more coupons for the powder ones. Um, when it comes to the, what's the other one I tried? 
Uh, Armor Hammer's powder, I have not tried. Some people say they've gotten good results from it, and, and that works for them. Now, out of all my powders, these two are neck and neck. I can't choose one over the other one at this point. I was going to say Ariel, but that was before I tried the Tide. These are really good, in my opinion, for my needs and what I like. When it comes to the liquid, Persil is king, and then the Tide Frame Clear is the close second. And then it's the LA Totally Awesome. And then it's the Ecos for me. Um, I have a lot of these. And I appreciate everybody for like, comment, and subscribing. I just wanted to do this video. I know it's going to be kind of long. But I'm kind of just going to upload it as is and not really do any editing to it. I'll put timestamps in it later for um, that. But yeah uh just to y'all saw that like i said my least favorite is this and then i don't have the sun laundry detergent some people say sun works for them i don't like sun at all it is not it has not worked for no i just don't like it i just don't like it i don't like its uh cleaning ability i don't like its odor eliminating ability i don't like it's nothing it has a good it does a good job at masking odors in my personal opinion um and that's only granted that I've only tried the sun in the yellow bottle. I haven't tried the one in the blue bottle and one of the other bottles. But the sun in the yellow bottle was just a total no for me and put me off from the brand as a whole. So, once again, yeah. And then, you know, it's hard for me to say what, like, how many I would keep because I would definitely keep this one as well for my dark clothes. So, I would definitely keep this for only washing darks by themselves. I would keep this one. No. No, because I do like this one better than this one. If price wasn't the pr problem, I would really keep this one as my, um laundry detergent plus fabric softener if i want to put it on blankets i don't want to wash sheets or something like that definitely this would be a go-to if i need heavy cleaning power I'm, I'm going with this one or i'm going with one of these two because they do an excellent job i need to compare this tide versus the powder versus this one and then i really should do now that i have them all i should do a tide original pods plus the versus the powdered versus the liquid since i have them all that was a video i did plan on doing if i compare all three of them see them which one really has the best cleaning power i feel like this powder is going to win um and yeah thank you all so much for watching so far so far um like i said i'm gonna be taking a break for a month of not posting but i just wanted to have this done for you and i hope y'all have a wonderful day wonderful weekend wonderful summer and i will see y'all in july